Hello, hello, my Owlets. How are you today? I'm over here. Little hello. Um, today uh, is the first video of our Easter spring um, video series. So the first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to start the video off with actually setting up our space for spring. So as you can see, I've gathered lots of things here and I thought I would go through each one of these um, and show you how I'm going to set my desk up. So, as you can see, I have a new tablecloth. If you watch my, the Valentine series, I put together a, I had a, well, maybe I had a different uh, tablecloth. But anyway, for Valentine's, I had one that had these beautiful pink, pinkish red roses and hearts on it. And this one, if, if you're from my era, this probably looks super familiar. I actually got it at a thrift store, but it looks like they created, they took a sheet and they hemmed and they made it into like a little tablecloth and so it I think it has total spring vibes to it the yellow pink and blue and of course all the flowers so anyway so let's jump into getting our table set up so if you're new here welcome this is gonna be a series I'll kinda of go over with you guys so in the description there is gonna be a link to my blog that will have the list of the itinerary of kinda of where it I think is gonna happen please know that you know I'm a whimsical person so <laughs> it's subject to change but typically I try to stay on schedule but as I was thinking about this last night I think what I'm gonna do is create like a kickoff like a week long kickoff and then throughout the whole month of March have little videos that still work in our journals because I know a lot of times I get the journal set up and then that's kind of what we do and then you know I play in my journal a lot but I also keep my creative daily journal as well so um, so yeah so we're going to be playing in our journals all all month long uh, getting it ready for spring but and actually documenting so that's going to be our goal for at least my goal you're you we can do a glue book I've been spending tons of time on Pinterest you could take you could do a lot like that is one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to go into Pinterest and pull a lot of my um, uh, inspirational photos because I love looking at like clothes and I love looking at uh, outfits and I love looking at uh, also how to make your house or home bedding kitchen everything romantic <laughs> and I feel like with spring it could be like you know um, like with the ivies and the twinkle lights and uh, all the fun things so let's go ahead and so that's kind of what the 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 start of this video is is getting things ready for spring but we're going to be doing our journaling along the way um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was I think that's it for now if it comes to mind we'll hop on it so I'm gonna do my best to get you guys to be able to see everything as I'm doing it I think that will work okay so as I said I got this table called down I also have this pretty lace table runner um, there used to be a shop and I'm gonna put it at the very back here um, because I really don't I want my surface um, to have I mean the the tablecloth is fine but um, too much bumpiness you know causes issues when you're journaling so I'm gonna kind of stand up here and I hope I don't get in you guys way of seeing what I'm doing here so I'm basically just kind of adding another layer of lace and pretty uh, let's see if I can get over here without in it's kind of hard filming like this but I'm just gonna kind of put the lace over here and we'll straighten it up as I've moved the stuff out of the way so the next thing I'm gonna put up is this long table bench and basically what this is is a friend of mine made this and she gave it to me uh, when we used to do shows and this is actually just table legs from like oh like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like this and this is just like a two by four I don't even know if it's a two by four but it's a piece of <laughs> it's a piece of wood and you basically just screwed down the tops it's a little wonky but it's been several colors but you know my signature is pink so we're gonna put that up there and what a, a shelf like this does let me lift you guys up a little bit so you can see what the shelf does is it creates another level of fun to be added to your workspace is that gonna work there 
because we are going to be working on our shelf here. So let me just adjust the camera a little bit more. Okay, I'm learning filming techniques, you guys, so just be patient. <laughs> okay, so every desk needs a lamp, right? So I'm going to put my lamp. Now this is the lamp that I had decorated up for... Um, I've had it on my desk for a while. Let me see here so you guys can see. So with this lamp, as you can see, it has like some, this is just like crowns that you can use. Uh, you can order these off Amazon. I'll leave a link below just in case you guys are interested. But I had these at one of the events that I did and I had some extra over. So I just laid them on top and then I put a really pretty pink tool bow with the butterfly so that just kind of adds some whimsical to our desk and as you can see I have added my little bunny here Let's see if we can get that bunny in there and that came from Dollar Tree last year I believe so I'm gonna bring you back down I hope you guys aren't getting motion sickness <laughs> okay so here we are with our de our desktop so so I'm going to add some things up here, and then we're going to add some things down here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bring you guys back a little bit so I can see what we're doing. So in, let's see here. I put, I have this, I bought this at a secondhand store. Isn't it beautiful? $4, you guys. $4 for this, and it's super heavy. And so I'm going to put it over here. Because I like to just add a little bit of dimension, like, you know, pretty things to my desktop and not just put things directly on the table. And I actually picked out three different colors. These came from dollar, uh, the dollar spot at Target. But I have, I went a little crazy. You know, I think we all at one point went crazy and probably still do at dollar stop. <laughs> I've kind of kept myself away from Target, but, uh, but this is like, I had a blue, yellow, and pink. And so I thought it went perfectly with my spring colors and my tablecloth here right here you can't really see the tablecloth okay I'm sorry for the motion sickness let's bring it back a little bit more so you guys can see the full view and I'm not so close again I'm not uh, I'm learning as I go on filming so thank you for your patience on that okay then I found this adorable I've had I used to kind of want to collect these I have a few. I don't have a collection yet. I think I only have two. So that I don't I consider that not quite a collection. <laughs> but it's an old recipe box. And I typically have my distress stains in a little basket like this. But I thought what I would do is kind of put the colors that I use most because a lot of them are a little too dark for um for what I use and so I kind of find myself not using them. But these are my main colors. Let's see. I think those are ones that are a little bit darker. And then one that's so light you can't even... I don't know if you can fit in. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead. The one that's so light that I can't even get it to show up. I don't know if there's something wrong with this one. Um, is the, um, the pink. So, anyway, I thought that would be cute. And look how cute as that and it closes up I thought wow why haven't I discovered that before <laughs> and so yeah so I'm gonna put that I might be moving that thing things around a little bit and then um, over here I'm gonna reach across you guys and we are gonna add our journals so I'm gonna put my journals here just for now because these are my working journals that I journal in and of course once we add the Easter one in there, the Easter spring one, that'll be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and decorate the top. And I'm going to move this back just a tad bit more so you guys can see the top. And move it up. Okay. I don't know if that did or not. So we are going to add some different things. So I bought these at Dollar Tree. They're supposed to be like baby's breath. And actually, I'm more likely, sometimes I like to put fresh flowers a lot of the time in my in, on my desktop but what I noticed is I have a vent in here I kept saying why do my flowers die so quickly but 
that vent blows right in this direction and so I haven't yet changed it or anything like that but <clears throat> I'm just going to trim those off and I have this cute little milk glass vase and I'm just going to add these little imitation baby's breath in there for now cute so we're gonna I'm gonna put that actually let's go ahead and get the big stuff up there now so one of the things that I always have in my room is this little I have a couple of these little wooden pieces uh, they're from cut from a tree I think you can get them at dollar I mean not dollar um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby I'm gonna try to move this camera up just a tad bit you guys so you can see it there that should work oh yeah much better okay then the other one I have is way over here and I know I love burning a candle especially if I'm sitting here but if I'm not I liked my room to smell really pretty and so I'm gonna put another piece of wood because I love the way that that looks and I add my Scentsy here and of course see it's an owl you guys isn't it cute you can go ahead and turn it on Ta -da! now you might be wondering well what scent do you have it's kind of wonky a little bit I actually put in this Texas um, I still didn't quite get that up let's move that up a little bit more you guys I'm gonna be on this side so sorry if this is bad Eek. Okay, much better, much better. Okay, <laughs> um, so this is the Scentsy smell that I put in here. It's actually from my grocery store. It's called, it's, we're in Texas, but it's a Texas-based grocery store. It's called H-E-B. And this is called um, Yellow Rose of Texas. So, oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. My room, like even when I go like anywhere, I and I have my bag with me. Oh, it smells like this. And I'm like, oh, it's like following me. My scent is following me. Okay. So over here on this piece of wood is where I typically keep my candle. And this smell is rose petals. Yeah, I love rose, rose pet smell. Can you tell? And I also have like a set of matches. And I keep this little tray here because this little heart-shaped tray. Just because when I light the matches, I want to have place them on something that's not going to catch fire. <laughs> I'm paranoid about fires, you guys, so I don't know who isn't, but I am very paranoid. Um, and then I also have this bunch of green that I just thought I could add up here just to create a little bit of, I don't want to, if I burn my candle, I bring my candle down. But I thought, oh, that would be pretty to kind of add some greenery up there. And then... I'm going to put my other little owl over here. Let me move it in the back. I'll put my candle in the front. And I usually kind of put this to the back so it's not really visible. Here we go. And then let's add all my little fairies because we have to have fairies on our desk. And she, oops, let's see here. What do we got? We got, we got some stand-up ones here move this back a little bit she's my new fairy that I just got put her in the greenery a little bit and then this cute one sits and puts her hand on her little face so I'm gonna put her over here and then I've got this little elf guy um, this is a vintage piece that this actually belonged to my Aunt Yola, which was like, oh, I love my Aunt Yola. She lived across the street from me growing up, and she was just, I just loved her. She's, she was the best. And then I put another little fairy there. Here's another one that's kind of standing up, so we're going to put her back over there. And then I have my laying down one, which is one of my favorite fairies, because she looks so sweet, sleepy. I'm going to put her right there. There. Now I've got all my little fairies on my desk and they can help me along the way. Okay, so let's get back to, I had this piece. I thought I could kind of put it maybe right here. This is actually from, um, it's a napkin holder. 
This is actually from um, Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So we're back to, oh, and then I always have a little mushroom here. Yeah, I start getting really cluttery, as you can tell. All my little nicky nackies. Okay. So let's move all some of the stuff that we're not going to be using. You know, I got my carrots here because I love carrots. I actually thought about tying them around here. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the carrots. So we're going to put the carrots aside. And then I got a wood piece. I've got, I'm just going to start kind of cleaning up as we figure out what we're, else we're going to add onto our desk. Um, okay, so I had this little truck. This came from um, Hobby Lobby as well. Like, I know they still have these out because I saw them at Christmas, and I don't know if they have it in the spring, but um, I'm going to just put that here. And I just thought it would be kind of whimsical to add your little glue sticks, you know, um, in something that's adorable. So I think that's cute. So we're just kind of moving things over. Let's work in this corner now. This is actually a mail thing that I got from a, a store here close by years ago. You know, I love mailboxes. But I put my little ephemera pack in there that I use quite a bit. And so I just kind of put that over because I thought we'll be using, we'll put that over here in just a moment. So the next thing I have is, here's more carrots. Gotta love carrots. I have my Benjamin Bunny, you guys. Did you see this? Isn't it adorable? I don't know if you can get in the lighting better. Um, he is, let's see if you guys can kind of see. He is so sweet. I got him at a secondhand store recently, and I would love to collect all the Beatrix Potter characters. I'm going to move the lamp back a little bit, move, him, move that, I put him right here. And that way, I just kind of like, it's dreamy, and it's magical, and then you sit down here to journal, and it's all pretty. So, I'm going to move some of this stuff off. And then I got my tape dispenser, because it's pretty. I got this at a, like a, it, this was at an office, one of those surplus places. I was really hesitant about using scotch tape, but I did find some scotch tape that is actually, uh, what do you, um, acid free. So I thought that was pretty nice. I'm going to move this mail back over in this corner and just kind of have it. I want to keep my space open here. This is, that's the thing. So that's why it's nice because you can have your whimsical stuff up here and then you can have your, your journals and I'm going to be adding my um, two books under here because I did have them over there. Um, but one is a, the quote book by, uh, Susan Branch. And then the other one is a fairy book I that just got. So I will be putting those over here for my flowers. I think I'm either going to put them up here. No, that's too much. I think I'll just put them right here and they get, may get moved around a little bit. So I still have all these fun goodies. I might just stick this carrot here just because it is part of the spring decor. And then of course my stamp. I wonder if this would fit in here. No. I just love this idea. <laughs> I'm like all impressed. But I do like to keep my little date stamp handy. I need to find a little container or something to stick it in. But I'll, I'll bring another stamp pad over there as well. And then this is a where you can kind of push this on your, I painted it as it was all white, but um, you can um, use it to hold down your pages, which I do like using those as well. So I like to keep that handy. So I have eggs and I have carrots. And what I think I might do I don't, is maybe put some around here, or I might just add these uh, on my tear tray in the kitchen. Um, and then, of course, my sister brought me the most adorable little bunny ever. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put her over here just to keep with the Easter theme. So let's move these out of the way because we'll move, we'll use these somewhere else to put them back in there. And then there you have it. It's all ready to go and be journaled in. So I know not everybody has a space, um, you know, to have uh, your journal space to be able to sit in and everything, but we're going to be working, but 
make it make you know change out your your uh, pencil case or change out your little bag that you have maybe make a brighter bag maybe tie some ribbon on it you can make a space that is just for you that you can carry around if that's how you journal but on that note um, I wanted to talk about tomorrow's activity will be setting up the train case I'm going to be going through all the um, stuff we're going to be using stuff that I'm going to be using adding it you know showing you guys how to do that and then uh, I hope to we're going to we're going to break the the creating the book up into two steps we're going to be doing and you'll see all this in the itinerary I guess I could talk it to the camera <laughs> um so the book will be actually we're going to make we're, one day we're going to assemble everything we're going to make some pockets we're going to be um, we're going to show you two different ways to assemble it and then we're going to get started on making some accessories for your journal and also we're going to be um, making some cute pages. So I'm so excited and again thank you guys for being here. If you bought the kit, thank you. Oh, by the way, I bought the kits. I did put some more in my shop. So just FYI if you didn't get one. Um, I am waiting on one little... Uh, one more thing that I ordered so they should be going out this Wednesday like all the kids that everybody orders so um, I know there's still quite a few because I just posted them yesterday so if you I'll leave a link below to those as well all right you guys thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow in the next video for the Easter and spring series bye bye